Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, Terrence Scott say pretty interesting video, and that's gonna be finding the angle between two lines and go over a formula on it that uses their slopes. And I'll be using the this formula in my later video, so that's why I'm doing this separately. So yeah, let's just jump right in. It's gonna be a pretty interesting video. So a uh, formula of angle between two lines using their slopes, and the uh, this is a mini problem from my calculus book. It says use the identity for tan x minus y, which I covered in my last video. You can see that in the video link below in the description to show that if two lines L1 and L2 intersect at an angle alpha, then tan alpha equals m2 minus m1, 1 plus m1 and m2 where M1 and M2 are the slopes of lines L1 and L2, respectively. So let's go about and deriving this, but first let me show you what that looks like visually. So visually it looks something like this. Let's say we had, yeah, we had a uh, XY axis like this. And let's say we have one line like that, I'll call this L1, and it has a slope M1 over 1, rise over run. So there's a slope like that. And let's say we had a second line across here. Here, I'm gonna call this L2. And let's say this slope is like this, M2, 1. Yeah, something like that. And then basically they intersect here. So then, then we have an angle, we're gonna call this alpha. So this is the angle that we have. And then on the other side is also alpha, like that by symmetry. Yeah, so now that we have that, we wanna prove that the tan of this alpha is equal to M2 minus M1 uh, divided by one plus M1 over M2. So yeah, for, so first off, I'm gonna do is recall the formula from my last video. So tan of x minus y, this equals to, this is gonna be tan x minus tan y over one plus tan x tan y. Yeah, so we're gonna recall this one right there. And notice what's interesting is that this formula m2 minus m1, is it m1, m2? Uh, it looks very, very similar to this one. So yeah, it looks very similar to the tan identity. Yeah, so to solve this, what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna write this as an angle. I'm gonna call this uh, phi or psi one. And then I'm gonna call this angle right here on the second line, psi two. Yeah, actually, uh, I just quickly checked it up. Yeah, it's phi. So this is the phi one and phi two. Yeah, and I believe psi is this kind of uh, symbol like that. So anyway, so that's phi 1, phi 2. And notice here, this is a flat line, so that's 180 degrees. So then this angle in between is going to be 180 minus this phi uh, 2. Yeah, this phi 2 like that. Yeah, so now that we have a triangle like that, and we know that we'll recall from my earlier video on triangles. If you have a triangle like this, any, any triangle, uh, they have three angles, A, B, and C, then the summation of the angles A, B, plus C, well, these all equal to 180. Yeah, 180 degrees like that. Or just put a degree sign like that. So thus, in our case, we're gonna have, well, alpha plus, yeah, plus phi one plus 180 minus phi two. So we get alpha plus phi one plus 180 minus phi two equals to 180 degrees. And I'll put this in a bracket like that to see that it's three angles, to show it. So what we're gonna have as well, oh, let's remove that now. So now we have plus 180 plus 180, we could just cancel these out like that. Let's remove this uh, angle so it looks the same. So when we cancel that, we get now, we get alpha, yeah, alpha plus uh, phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 0. And now if we could just move these both on the other side, we get alpha equals to, this is going to be phi 2 minus phi 1. And there is our answer. Yeah, so now we have, this is, uh, yeah, the alpha is in form of two angles. And this is the angle of, yeah, uh, the angles of the two lines that it makes with the horizontal axis. So now we could apply the, uh, the trig identity. So thus we have tan alpha equals to tan uh, phi 2 minus phi 1 equals 2. And then this is the uh, trig identity right here. So tan x minus tan y, etc. So we have tan uh, phi 2 minus tan phi 1 over 1 plus tan 
phi 2, 10, phi 1, like that. But note that these are just slopes, actually. So note, so note that what we have is just for any typical line, y, x, like that in general. Yeah, if we have any line like this, this angle, I'm going to call this phi. So if we do a rise of a run where we're rising by its slope, m, and then we're running by 1. Well, yeah, if we just run by 1, we're going to get, obviously, the slope. So then tan, recall the tan is just tan phi is equal to, um, yeah, this is by definition. This is opposite over adjacent, so this is just m over 1, which equals to m which equals to slope of the line. Yeah, so that equals the slope of the line like that. So that means in this case we have M2. Yeah, this is, I'll just do this better. This is going to be, yeah, M2 like that. This one's going to be M1, etc. And those ones go to M2, M1 like that. Yeah, so thus what we finally have is uh, tan alpha, tan alpha equals 2, and now we have m2 minus m1, 1 plus m2, m1. m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m2, m1, like that, and there is our answer. And this is the exact same one as above. So yeah, that is the angle, and we can get that angle from the slopes of the two lines, and you can take the inverse to get the exact angle there, so we just write it as tan alpha. And again, that's the exact same one, it's rewrote it, the M2 in front, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything. So anyways, that is all for today, I hope you learned from this quick video, and I'll be using that formula in my later videos, so uh, stay tuned for that. And anyways, thanks for watching, like always, you can download these exact notes and link below, as well as viewing these article. Uh, these notes in article format on Steemit, and I'll be posting that shortly after I upload this video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.